Major General Haim Herzog was an Israeli politician, general, lawyer and author who served as the sixth president of Israel between 1983 and 1993. Born in Belfast and raised predominantly in Dublin. The son of Ireland's chief rabbi Yitzhak Halevi Herzog. He immigrated to Mandatory Palestine in 1935 and served in the Haganah Jewish paramilitary group. During the 1936-1939 Arab Revolt, he returned to Palestine after the war and, following the end of the British Mandate and Israel's declaration of independence in 1948, fought in the battles of Lutran during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. He retired from the Israel Defense Forces in 1962 with the rank of Major General. After leaving the military, Herzog practiced law. In 1972 he was a co-founder of Herzog, Fox and Neman, which would become one of Israel's largest law firms between 1975 and 1978 he served as Israel's permanent representative to the United Nations, in which capacity he repudiated UN General Assembly Resolution 3379. The Zionism is Racism Resolution and symbolically tore it up before the Assembly. Herzog entered politics in the 1981 elections, winning a Knesset seat as a member of the alignment. Two years later, in March 1983, he was elected to the largely ceremonial role of president. He served for two five-year terms before retiring in 1993. He died four years later and was buried on Mount Herzl, Jerusalem. His son Isaac Herzog as the president of Israel and led the Israeli Labour Party and the parliamentary opposition in the Knesset between 2013 and 2017. Haim Herzog was born on Clifton Park Avenue in Belfast the son of Rabbi Yitzhak Halevi Herzog who was chief rabbi of Ireland from 1919 to 1937. And his wife Sarah, his father was born in Lomza, Poland, and his mother in Latvia. His maternal grandfather was the orthodox Jewish Talmudic scholar Shamuel Yitzhak Hillman. The family home from 1919 was at 33 Bloomfield Avenue, Portobello, Dublin. Herzog's father, a fluent Irish speaker, was known as the Sinn Féin rabbi for his support of the First Dial and the Irish Republican cause during the Irish War of Independence. Herzog studied at Wesley College, Dublin, and was involved with the Federation of Zionist Youth and Habonim Draw, the Labour Zionist movement. During his teenage years, the family emigrated to Mandatory Palestine in 1935. Herzog subsequently served in the Jewish paramilitary group Haganah during the 1936-39 Arab Revolt. He studied at University College London and was awarded Bachelor of Laws from University of London. In 1941, he later then qualified as a barrister at Lincoln's Inn. Herzog joined the British Army during World War II, operating primarily in Germany as a tank commander in the Armoured Corps. There. He was given his lifelong parallel name of Wiven because his first commander could not pronounce Heim. But another Jewish soldier explained to the commander that Wiven was the English equivalent of Heim. He was commissioned into the intelligence corps in 1943. Herzog participated in the liberation of several Nazi concentration camps as well as identifying a captured German soldier as Heinrich Himmler. He left the British Army in 1947 with the rank of Major. Immediately following the war, he returned to Palestine. After the establishment of the State of Israel, he fought in the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, serving as an officer in the battles for Lutran. His intelligence experience during World War II was seen as a valuable asset. And he subsequently became head of the IDF military intelligence branch a position in which he served from 1948 to 1950 and again from 1959 to 1962. From 1950 to 1954, he served as defense attaché at the Israeli embassy in the United States. Herzog left Washington in September 1954. A State Department official had informed him that he was about to be declared persona non grata. The decision to expel him had been taken following an FBI investigation into his attempt to recruit a Jordanian diplomat. He retired from the IDF in 1962 with the rank of Major General. After leaving the army, 
Herzog opened a private law practice. He returned to public life in 1967, when the Six-Day War broke out. As a military commentator for Coal Israel Radio News, following the capture of the West Bank, he was appointed military governor of East Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria. In 1972, he went into partnership with Michael Fox and Yaakov Neiman and established the law firm of Herzog. Fox and Neiman, one of the largest law firms in Israel. In 1975, Herzog was appointed Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, in which capacity he served until 1978. During his term the UN adopted the Zionism as Racism resolution, which Herzog condemned and symbolically tore up, saying, for us, the Jewish people, this resolution based on hatred, falsehood and arrogance, is devoid of any moral or legal value. For us, the Jewish people, this is no more than a piece of paper and we shall treat it as such. In recent years British, 